In this video, we're going to learn how to compare the areas and volumes of similar solids. So if solids are similar, they have the same shape and all of their corresponding dimensions are proportional. So to decide if two prisms are similar, we're going to compare each side and see if it is proportional. And if so, we are able to find the scale factor. So we're going to pair up. So this side on the left goes with this side, which we'll call three over six. And then our next pair is this side and this side. So three over six. And our last pair is two and four. So two over four. And now we ask ourselves, are these proportional? So are they equal to each other? Since we know one half is equal to one half is equal to one half, that works. So yes, they are proportional. Now to figure out the scale factor, we're kind of halfway there. So if we are going from the small to the big, we need to figure out what we need to multiply by to find the scale factor. So how do we get from three to six? Or how do we get from two to four? We multiply by two. So going one way, our scale factor is two because this is times two. If we want to go backwards, how do we get from six to three or how do we get from four to two? We multiply by one half. So our scale factor going backwards is one half, which is actually what we found here. In the next one, again, we're going to set up a proportion. So our first pair is two and three. Our second pair is three and six. And our last pair of sides is two and three. So are these equal? Is two thirds equal to one half is equal to two thirds? No, they're not equal. So they are not similar because all of the dimensions are not proportional. If we know the scale factor for similar solids is A over B, then we're able to figure out the ratio of the area and the volume. So remember this A over B, like we learned before, is going to be our similarity or perimeter ratio. So it's the ratio of the sides or the ratio of the perimeter. If we know that's A over B, then the ratio for the areas is A squared over B squared, and the ratio of the volumes is A cubed over B cubed. So we can use this to figure out volumes if we know that two solids are similar. So in this first example, they give us one side is four inches and on the other um, prism, it's seven inches. So our similarity ratio is four over seven because we just take the ratio of the sides. Our perimeter ratio is also four over seven. Now our area ratio is four squared over seven squared because it's a squared over b squared. So our area ratio is 16 over 49. And then finally, our volume ratio is a cubed over b cubed. So four cubed over seven cubed, which is 64 over 343. In this problem, we know the volume of the smaller figure is 192 inches cubed, and we want to know the volume of the bigger figure. So to figure it out, we're going to write a proportion using the volume ratio, because that's what we're trying to figure out. So the ratio of the volume we've just figured out was 64 over 343, and that's going to be equal to the actual ratio of the volumes. So 192 over whatever the ratio of the larger one is. To figure this out, we have to cross multiply. So we do 64x is equal to 343 times 192, which happens to be 65,856. Then we divide both sides by 64 to find x. So x turns out to be 1,029 inches cubed. So that is the volume of the larger box. This next problem 
is pretty similar. So we are asked to find the scale factor of the smaller to the larger. So we wanna know how do we get from the small to the large. To do this, we're going to have to figure out the different ratios. So now we're working backwards. We know the volume ratio is 729 to 1331. And we know that that is A cubed over B cubed. To figure out the similarity or perimeter ratio, what we're going to do, we need to figure out what A over B is. So we're going to take the cube root of 729 over the cube root of 1331. And we find out on our calculators that's 9 over 11. If we also wanted to know the area ratio, we would take that and we'd square it. So we do 9 squared over 11 squared, and we would get 81 over 121. So now we have our three ratios. To find the scale factor, now if we know the ratio of the sides is 9 to 11, we need to figure out how we get from 9 to 11, or how we get from 11 back to 9. What you would do is say 9 times what equals 11? You divide both sides by 9, and you'd find x is 11 over 9. So our scale factor to get from 9 to 11 is 11 over 9. If instead we wanted to go backwards, we'd say 11 times what gives me 9? I'd divide both sides by 11, and I'd get x equals 9 over 11. So you can figure out your scale factor going either way. But in this case, they wanted from the smaller to the larger. So our scale factor is 11 over 9.